Labdien visiem! Milzīgs prieks, protams, redzēt tik daudz sporta draugus, entuziastus un paldies ar organizatoriem, kas uzaicināja šodien ciemos. Lai pastāstītu par Geto projektu, es viņai saprast, kādā kontekstā vairāk stāstīt, jo šobrīd mums... I'm not even sure what's the context I should start telling you about this, because we have like 20 different units, starting from Geto basket until burgers and Geto TV, and it's all correlated and it's all together. Geto can be called a movement, actually. And uh, the main goal of which is to be like a big brother to all young people who have not made their choice just yet what to do in future, but they can come and they can, in a sense, uh, follow an uh, active lifestyle and maybe not do it in a classical ways. Um, and then maybe not to go to the gym and just to maintain your health. This is more for young people. And our target audience is uh, starting from 13 years of age. And for some, it comes easier. And for some, it comes later what to do with their lives. So this is the uh, uh, presentation that I was preparing for my partners last year. And also, you can get a little booklet and follow up uh, through this. So the first idea is that our ghetto ways uh, or roads is that we have grazing counts. This is a place we develop together with young people. Uh, we made like um, uh, we came together at times just to do practical things to improve the environment. And uh, there are like um, sports centers that we cannot fill with young people, uh, but this is the idea: is that the place, the venue, forms the people involved. And the main uh, thing is to get involved people with in different activities. Here are some pictures of how we started seven years ago. I think you, most of you know photographer Renars Buivits. You cannot see in the slide, but there is a gacho the. Uh, the musician, and um, this is a historical picture. This is not really related to you, but our main motto is don't be afraid, just, just go for your goals and dreams. Here um, we have many different pictures, how do activities in Greasing Gowns look like, and going further, um, I will tell you more about five big projects that we get the most attention with. Um, and it's not about like small events and everyday activities that we do every uh, get in greasing counts. Uh, ev every once a week we play basketball, once a week we play floorball, once a week we play something else. And this, it's like a four-month cycle but you mostly don't know about it. You know about big festivals, about big marketing campaigns. And this is also related to how um, work with young people. You have to have like um, um, bright ro role models. You have to have very um, uh, well-targeted um, uh, communication. Uh, Diana Bible, colleague, uh, who uh, helped to organize this event in Ventspils. As you know, Ventspils is a place uh, that calls themselves uh, a place for extreme sports, and we call it like that. And they are ready to accept 25 people from 25 countries, and we are going to compete in uh, 10. We were competing in 10 different uh, sports types. Uh, it's wakeboard and any other um, very um, um, attractive things to, 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 to see. And again, many, very many pictures where we can, you can see all kinds of tricks, what actually happens during those events. The second biggest project is what we we will show a little video at the end of presentation how we were able to king, uh, to um, carry out uh, a project, the King's Affair, that's a slam dunk contest. 
And it was actually a project of good quality. And I think that some of the people present here know about this project. OK. In grazing counts, we are also, with those, all the events that take place there in grazing counts are free of charge. Only participants have a small fee, which is like two euros. And also, we've been uh, speaking to social centers, and we have been trying to spread the news that it's uh, people are able to participate with, with free of charge. But all these events, slam dunk contest and street back freestyle, these are all contests where they can participate and watch for free. And we want to make greasing counts the most sports active uh, uh, region, uh, part of Riga. And, and this is Jan Srozic. He's jumping through a, fi a fire um, circle. And if I saw it when I was little, I, it would definitely inspire me. Maybe I would be, that would be me jumping through the, that circle today. Uh, going through to next, um, we developed this thing called the ghetto fight. And uh, we can say that in each um, area we have our own leader. In football, it's Anton Semenyaks. He's a very active young person in floorball. It's a hockey player, Renar Sprebergs. And uh, in that way, we can gather like a, 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 a bright, like um, popular um, role models. So they, we involve them so they can work in the social environment. Manuel Isagian is the, um, the leader in, in fighting area, is fair. And he has like 100 uh, uh, young people coming from the from the area. And they're like cool, normal, regular guys. You just have to work with them a little bit, so they would be even more normal in future. And maybe some of you see a big aggression here, but you have to get to this point. And fighters understand what I'm saying how somehow you have to ha have the other person lying on their back um, and it's just important it's not important what kind of uh, sports you're doing it's just important that you do it on a daily basis and the main uh, statement that I get got from sports is that there's a correlation between what you invest and what are your results and so the same way you're learning to dribble um, between your legs and, and you're shooting hoops and you're, and, uh, and you're improving your uh, percentage of uh, scored hoops. And the more you try, the, more, the better results you're achieving. And get off fight. Let's move on. As one of the in initiatives is, um, it's a hip hop battle. And so guys are fighting verbally, and there's like a main theme, and then they just go on. And those who are younger understand what's going on here. And the one thing is that they cannot uh, swear, and uh, it's this this event gathers actually as many people as a slam dunk contest, and this initiative is has the biggest. Um, uh, number of views on the internet and this is one of the activities that we do during the season it's a pretty impressive uh, money award uh, for the guys who live this hip-hop lifestyle every year we uh, end the season with the super finals in greasing counts and we were in Krastmala for two years but we understood that we don't want to be in Krasnodar. We just want to go back to Grisingkalns, be at home, and so the super finals were, were held at, in Grisingkalns, and it gathered pretty many um, particip or viewers for basketball. And to get more uh, more people in the audience, you have to have a good show. And uh, as we realized, 
We know th we know there are like the league, the basketball league games. We know the other team sports. That it's not that easy. If it's not a national a question of national team, then it's not really that easy to gather a full hall with people. Here, uh, there's a, a long description of basketball, but the, the thing is, we play without referees. And the ma main thing is that we, we played without referees because we didn't have money. And we couldn't gather the, the means needed for that. And then we understood that there's a, there's, a, there's a thing in that. And so the main thing was that people started communicating among themselves. So if there were two teams and there was a referee uh, between them, and then you cannot do the little dirty tricks while playing because there is no, there is no referee. But then you have to answer for that to, to the opponents, and you have to communicate. You have to make do relationships with the other people, and uh, and then they among themselves they make this environment, this community. No environment, no friends. So that's what it's called. And I think that the one of the success points is that they play without these referees, and they are able to. We are able to speak about what's your responsibility. How do you honor your opponent? And you cannot uh, behave like a jerk, because otherwise you will be kind of cast out from this environment. You have to do it. You have to do it like men, not like chicken. So uh, this is about basketball. Everywhere we play without referees. Every year we try to uh, take as many teams as possible abroad, and uh, we want to show that abroad is cool, but being home is even cooler. And so the main uh, awards have been uh, traveling to New York. And uh, the, um, the Federation of Florbo, they gave us uh, an award uh, to go to uh, Sweden. And in football, to, together with the national team, we will go somewhere. I'm not sure. I think it could be Iceland. So the awards are pretty good motivators. Uh, so the simple guys would participate in tournaments, and they would represent Latvia and um, represent their their um, community as well. And so they could see uh, the world. That's main goal. So this is where we play floorball. Uh, and each week they can change the team. And uh, the name of the team gathers the points. Uh, and these are details, but it's not that important. Geography. Uh, in Latvia, we are in Riga. Like when we have like 70% of the events there, and then we have distributed the other events among the other uh, biggest cities in Latvia. And we will. We wanted to visit Liepāja, and then we step back a bit, and then in, uh, after seven seven years of no show we will hopefully find a venue to do this so we're trying to cover all geography of latvia and um, so we're trying to maintain uh, these things alive in social media as well and then we try to get like buses to the biggest events for example like the super finals in riga I, and there are a lot of things you have to do in order to do the, all these things. So June, July, August, this is the period when we are the most active. And in winter, we are preparing ourselves for the season. Also, ghetto games have... Um, Edgar Smengels uh, became the champion in quadricycles, quadricycles in Europe. He was a good driver before, but we invested a little bit more energy and help them, him with communication and, and, and donors. And we, we worked as a little agency for him. Also, Jan Srozitis, he's ending his professional career this year. But he has his own shows and everything. 
and these are the people we are using to inspire young people. And this year we're tra planning on um, traveling uh, all through the country to the uh, schools and participate in the sport uh, lessons. And then we will try to talk about motivation, what time do we wake up, what's what's the schedule for the day in order in our li to achieve something in our lives. And these are the guys, of course, they have invested a lot of energy in their results. And they are alive role models who are still active today. Here, the athletes program, we see Mar Sornic. So his riding a car was one 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 uh, one uh, leg. And there are trialists. Kristaps Darga is he's uh, for example, Kristaps Darga is three years ago uh, three three years back he helped we helped him, and now he's helping us. And in future, ghetto games are gonna be formed by people we've been helping in past, and. And Get Talk Games is a program. We um, have many uh, training sessions in greasing counts where uh, guys can come and participate for free. Uh, it's floorball um, uh, sessions, fitness sessions, basketball sessions. And we have found coaches who are ready to do that. And we try to develop even more and more every year in these programs. And we'll see how we can carry that out. And also, we have started a program, Ghetto Startup. That was a startup among different schools. And you could participate with your own ideas and get money awards. And this year, we will change this order a bit. We will make like a startup incubator for uh, feeding, uh, and they will make come up with their own recipes. And we have uh, um, we have investors from Singapore and Russia, and we will try to cover this communication so all the young people in Latvia find out about this and they can participate. And uh, this is a bit away from sports. Yet, it's clear that sport cannot live without, without art, without business, and without any other things that we have in society. Therefore, Get Those Startup is one of the best initiatives. I'm repeating that those uh, young people who are involved with us, they are real leaders. The question is whether they will put their skills into the good and right practice. And hopefully they not do not get so deep in the shit they are in that they cannot get out of there. And it's important to live and keep on moving all the time. This is the Blondes uh, Kitchen, and this uh, is active uh, initiative that entertains young people. These this is a person who is recognizable. Uh, these are people participating who are recognized in the society, and they are just. Um, making some stuff in the kitchen. So Ghetto the TV uh, can be uh, associated with Renard Zeldinch, who asks his cool questions. And he's one of the top guys on, the t on TV right now. And the YouTube channel, we can see all the main activities that we have had. We try to run um, uh, like ads before and after the events. And this is one of the best structures we have. We uh, also f uh, record and, and film many um, ads. And this all has sprang from the fact that we've been uh, filming ourselves. Now we also f are filming ourselves and many other outsource projects. Our artist, Vladislav Slavšic, he's the one who puts it into some sort of um, colors. Um, <laughs> he uh, used to be a basketball player, not the very good one. But he is the youngest artist uh, to, uh, to be showcased in uh, the Museum of, of uh, Art of Latvia. And uh, he draws for different people 
for big clubs in Ukraine and in here in Latvia. <laughs> He's a very advanced guy. And audiences. It's 12.5 thousand active participants last year. I don't think it has changed this year. Uh, we are, um, like, our target audience is about 10, 11, 12 thousand people. And it's like 29,000 uh, uh, people, as youngsters from 13 to 15 years old. Maybe the, the actual numbers are 240,000 people. So every 20th uh, young person has been involved in, in one way or another in our projects. I don't think we can involve more people. We can actively work with like 10,000 um, 10, uh, young people who are involved in extreme sports, um, um, street sports. This is the statistics from the year before. And we are, in, we are leaders in the number of involved people, but participants in 92% men and 8% women. I have always been saying that uh, women have better sport types to be involved with. So the so let these sport types remain for guys, and then the, the most beautiful girls would come and watch them. Uh, and uh, and the uh, the audience is 42% are women, and we are working f on that number to increase. About uh, the media, and we work together with all kinds of media partners with biggest radio and TV stations. Uh, in past, we used to uh, choose just one partner, but now we've understood that um, uh, we, we're not exclusively working with one uh, partner, with our own partner. And this year, we are actually planning on uh, making our own news media so the young people don't have to watch news about war and they can watch something about events and the, and the newest in, in, in inventions. This is like a positivist, but in like for the ghetto news. Well, if you invite me, I will come back and tell you about it. Of course, and Draug, MLV, Facebook, Twitter, these are the old numbers. In face on Facebook, it's like 15,000. Twitter, 16, 15,000 people. And Draugem, uh, they helped us a lot at the beginning, but the numbers are decreasing now. This is our uh, happy team, a joyful team. And now we see that it's many wonderful people, and they are stylish. Um, young people like to be with stylish peeps, so try to be stylish. These are our uh, partners. Thank you a lot. And I want to, I want to show you a video, and then I, then I will remove myself. Let's start with, um, with the video, which is the shortest video. It's like one minute. I want to show you something in English, which is the main meaning that we want to put into our young people. We want to see them, show the main thing, uh, how to live. Here, there you go. What would you like to do if money were no object? What makes you itch? What sort of a situation would you like? What, how would you really enjoy spending your life? Forget the money. Uh, because if you say that getting the money is the most important thing, you will spend your life completely wasting your time. You'll be doing things you don't like doing in order to go on living, that is to go on doing things you don't like doing, which is stupid. Better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. 
And after all, if you do really like what you're doing, it doesn't matter what it is, you can eventually turn it, uh, you can eventually become a master of it. The only way to become a master of something is to be really with it. And then you'll be able to get a good fee for whatever it is. And so, therefore, it's so important to consider this question, what do I desire? Thanks a lot. Could you hear anything? I couldn't hear myself anything. Did you understand the meaning of it? It's all cool. So we're trying to find our talent. And our goal of our lives is to find our talent. And our work of our life is to develop our talent. And the meaning of life is to share to share that with the others. That's not it. That wasn't in a video, but that's something we want to get across with our young people. And at the end, I would like to show our best video so far and something that you can enjoy. That's a slam dunk co contest. And all the um, prominent people in Latvia were kind of there. And we reach like the tops that you can achieve in Latvia. And we wanted to get Jay-Z to grazing calls, but he's not answering his email yet. So let's watch this one. Most kings get their head cut off, right? I mean, in war, battle, and in life. At the end of the day, you've achieved everything you want. You've made it to the top of the throne. People change around you because they start treating you different because of your success. So you are changing. You don't change who you are, the core of who you are, the things you believe, the things you love, and the things you die for. And at the end of the day, you just get your head cut off. Right when the gate opened, you know, even just walking towards the venue and seeing everybody crowd up, you know, people coming off buses, everybody gathering just for the dunk contest, basically. So that's one of the greatest moments uh, that I can think of, really, just seeing all of the spectators and fans out there ready to support us. It's becoming an individual sport, an individual show that's enjoyed by thousands of people around the world. Our aim is for the show to be involved by millions of people around the world. So I think we took a huge step uh, towards reaching that goal. Nāca ārā, un tu saprot, ka ir jāspridzināt. Nu, kad pat ne tas, kad ir jāspridzināt, bet gribas spridzināt. You know what I'm saying? You have the... the... Each other. You know, it was tough. Pride Kings of Air 2015. You guys did it once again. It just blew me away because I've never seen an event that you would have just for dunkers. After the contest, I couldn't even remember all of the attractions, all of the you know things that happened. It was too much going on. I was completely in a different world, and uh, that's what's special about Ghetto Games. Well, I flew over a man that you know flying all of the city behind me. What can I say? We never know what to expect with you guys, so it's just coming here and seeing what happens. This is like the Latvian president, so it's crazy just to know he supported us. Supporting Ghetto Games is crazy. The Slam Dunk Concourse Grisinkalna. The Slam Dunk contest in Grisinkals has received like a, it's like a brand of happiness. Day of my life. <laughs>
the world Honestly, it was uh, not just uh, the greatest dunk contest I've ever been to, it's probably the greatest event I've ever been to. It's the guys have been telling me about this contest for, you know, the whole year. Like, every contest I went to, I was like, oh my god, this is crazy, this is crazy. And they just kept telling me, man, ghetto games, like, just, that's the craziest contest of the year. You're good, it's going to blow your mind. And it put my expectations really high, and it's still surpassed it. I just, unbelievable. Everybody wants to the All this. Thank you. Thank you for your applause. The truth be told, at some point in your life, you have this drive that you want to make this big slam dunk con contest. But ghetto games, this is just to draw a, a, a attention to us. Ghetto uh, games, uh, coaching sessions, smaller activities that are, um, there's more heart in those events. This is just like an event that according to the 21st century standards. Thank you very much. And uh, all the success for you and work with your young people. Maybe someone has questions. While you're thinking uh, the questions, it's good that you put this into your uh, presentation. I remember Grazing Counts as a place where everything was rusted and the time uh, when you uh, put the first tree into the uh, soil. Uh, there are many uh, participants and uh, do you feel that they listen to you more than they listen to their parents? I think that each child um, listens to their parents more and that's just normal. And um, if I didn't have a mother that I have and the father that I had, I wouldn't grow up the way I would. I'm I am today, and I think that family is important. And also, um, this project is uh, made according to my experience, more or less. In the in in a way, we try to inspire them episodically. But if they didn't have this day on day work, and if they didn't receive enough love. And, and and I'm not talking about uh, material things. I'm just talking about investing time and energy and support. And because not every child needs to need someone else to do something with them. They just need the, the, the support in saying that it's cool what you're doing. Just go on and do it. And then they need to be asked the question, how are you doing from time to time? OK, thank you. Applause to the diamonds.